is Chris Jordan. I'm an application engineer here at TriMac out of the Knoxville office. Today we're going to be looking at uh, something sort of simple, uh, just trying to estimate how much paper you'll need to wrap a present. So what I have here is just an extruded block. We'll assume this is the box. Um, if you have something a little off size, I would recommend putting it in a box. So all I've done is extrude block and then add a couple sketches here, and you'll see why in a minute. But you want to make sure these are locked to the actual midpoints so that they change while well, we change the model. So we're going to convert this to a sheet metal part. For our fixed face, we'll select the bottom face. For our thickness, most paper comes between five thousandths and seven thousandths of an inch. Um, we can go ahead and do about six thousandths. For our bend radius, it could B0 uh, paper you can get pretty clean radius. Um, we'll say maybe 1,000th or 2,000th, something like that. So down here under rip sketches, we don't want to have the width extend out the full length. If I had each of these as flanges, we would have double the width. So what I've done is use a rip sketch here so that we can wrap this from the sides which will give us only half the width here as we look at the flat pattern to get the actual sizing that we need. For our bend edges, we'll just go ahead and start bending this around. And for the top, I could have done another rip sketch but for this demonstration, it would equal the exact same length. This is we're not looking for this to look pretty. We're just trying to get an estimate for how much paper we need. We'll just go ahead and do a single bend across that way. We do want to keep the body. That's going to be vital for changing this later on. I'll hit OK. And we have our sheet metal part here. So I can go ahead and hit flatten. And this obviously isn't exactly how you'd wrap a present with these little flanges on the side here. Uh, but what this does give us is a boundary box. And by expanding my cut list out and looking at the sheet metal part, right clicking, going to properties, I can see a bounding box length and a bounding box width here. So we can see it's about 24 by 18. And I would recommend maybe adding an extra half inch onto each of those. So now let's look at how this changes. I'm going to exit the flat pattern. And changes up a little. So someone brings us a different box to wrap. Maybe a larger box. So now I have 24, maybe a foot high. And 8 wide. So I'm going to do a rebuild here. We'll see this has changed. The sheet metal has changed with it. There were no errors there. So as I flatten this, see it looks very similar, but we have our new dimensions in here. And again, we can just check the properties and look, this is about 40 by 32. So this is just a helpful tip. Um, if you are wrapping a lot of presents, maybe a tape measure, get some measurements, write them all down, uh, jump over to SolidWorks and get your length and width for all your wrapping paper. Thanks for watching.